So that leachate samples arrived at the laboratory. The first thing we're going to uh, see the laboratory get after is determining our, our cation and our anion ratios. We're going to do this through ICP analysis and we're going to do it through ion chromatography. What we get back is a whole bunch of individual species in parts per million. And then we're going to look also at the pH and the EC. These two properties are really important because we're going to use it later to determine if we've reached chemical equilibrium in our long-term uh, performance tests of, the, of, of a product. So get start, started early. Here we are, we're, we've, uh, we've got our analytical results back all in parts per million. We're gonna sum it up and we're gonna calculate the ionic strength, just how strong our leachate is. We're gonna calculate the RMD, that ratio of monovalent to divalent cations, and we're gonna calculate our anion ratio, um, which is just the ratio of the chlorides to the sulfates. These numbers, combined with pH and electrical conductivity, are used by the manufacturer to select products that will solve the problem at that site. 